Looking at the BR1103B8000 KV from Race Star, this test we're looking at with 2S as usual. And compared to their smaller 1102 line that we looked at last week, this one looks a lot more viable. We're still hitting in lower efficiency uh, areas, but our area of peak efficiency is a little bigger, a little wider, and you could see our two inch prop load uh, falling down into that and getting reasonable efficiency out of it. It also looks like we've got a decent uh, torque response uh, from it. We're not uh, thermally soaking quite as easily as we were on the smaller motor. So the tiny bit of extra mass from the, uh, the 1103 versus the 1102 uh, looks like it's definitely paying off there. In terms of thrust, we're seeing about 78 grams on the 2030, on the uh, 3020 up to 111, which is a little low, but considering it's only a three millimeter stator, that's not really the end of the world. And then for the two and a half and 2035, we're getting about 96 grams and 79 respectively. But if we compare this with our sample King Kong motor, you can see that even though it's better than the uh, 1102, we're still not quite what we uh, would want to see out of it for a, a typical two and a half or two inch prop load. The King Kong is still a lot closer to our peak efficiency down in there. The efficiency bands are much higher up, where the uh, 1103, we take a hit of efficiency at basically any of these loadings. And at slightly heavier loadings, like the uh, the 3020 and the, uh, the, the two and a half inch prop, you can kind of expect to see about a 10% loss of efficiency for uh, any of your performance uh, on those sort of uh, prop loads and to the 100% throttle traces. You can see we're a lot closer in performance uh, with the uh, the King Kong 1103 and the Raystar 1103. The Raystar having slightly less torque, a little higher KV, and we can see that reflected in the, the, uh, the slope of this line. Um, while it's a shallower slope, it is going to extend out further and our uh, higher, our ultimate RPM at uh, zero load is going to hit higher than the King Kong. But the point that they cross over is at such an incredibly low load, you're really never in a place to take advantage of the uh, the extra KV uh, just because of the, uh, the lack of torque comparatively. So it's going to be a slightly slower motor to accelerate, uh, even though it has a, a slightly higher KV. Power-wise, we are uh, even closer between the two of them with the 41 watts um, on the King Kong. We're getting about 40.8 watts on the uh, the Race Star, and then on the 3020, where we're looking at 54 watts on the King Kong, uh, we're getting about 51.4 watts on the uh, the Race Star. So even closer than the uh, smaller 1102. Uh, the power draw on these, the peak power draw, is going to be very similar. The big thing you lose is just a little bit of thrust and a little bit of motor acceleration on the Race star.